Hello there, Cancers. Welcome to your May. I feel like you're about to head into something, and I keep seeing like quality control. Okay, so I feel like you, some of you are in a position where you come on the aftermath of something. So after a major catastrophe, a major situation happens, you either come in to clean up other people's mess, or you have to do some type of quality control associated with that mess. And I feel that you're doing God's work. You're doing things that people don't want to do. And I feel for some of you, it might be a physical thing. Like uh, it's something that is physically taxing. And then for others of you, I feel that it is a mental thing. Like you could be a PR for uh, like a public relations specialist for like a company that is not very ethical. And so you have to do the, the cleanup. You have to represent the company. You have to explain to the public why things are happen the way that they did. And you have to fluff up the image. And I feel coming through for this month, you're confronted with a major dilemma. And I honestly feel that some of you are sick and tired of having to clean up after other people. Okay? And so moving forward, I feel that you have a major, major decision to, to, to um, decide on. And um, you can decide to continue where you are because there's a lot of stability involved. And a lot of people uh, depend on you. You're very good at what you do. And there's going to be you know, long-term career potential, like growth in that career track. And so if you keep as you've been doing, Financially, it's very stable, and um, it's it's very good for security, which is something that you know you love, okay. But on an emotional level, it might not do the um, it might not be good for you anymore. So you're you're not feeling it anymore. You're very good at what you do, though, but you might not feel any joy and contentment in doing the work because you feel like you have to clean up other people's messes, okay. And then the other option that you're choosing between, we have here the lover. So another option is work that might not be financially stable from one month to the next, from one year to the next. But it's also spiritually um, enriching. It's spiritually um, ethical. It's spiritually in alignment with what you want. Okay? So... You're deciding whether or not to pay, take a pay cut in order to do something that you love. And then some of you are deciding as well between you know whether or not um, working for money, slaving away for money is going to be detrimental to your spiritual growth. So some of you are honestly, I feel like concerned about spirituality, concerning about your path, concerning about where you need to be so that you can be the best, you know, Cancerian person that you can be. And so I feel like there are major, major ethical dilemmas coming through for this month. There are major reassessment overall when it comes to the work that you're doing and whether or not that work represents your values, whether or not the work uh, aligns with, you know, what you believe in, aligns with your moral compass. And uh, other people might tell you, you know, why are you taking a pay cut? Why do you want to do this job? It requires getting your hands dirty. It doesn't pay enough. It requires a lot of hardship. And you're just like, because it's the noble thing to do, it's the right thing to do. And I really commend those of you who are thinking that way because I feel like you're going to be able to see a lot of traction, like make a lot of traction in the world, make a difference in a lot of people's lives. I see some of you, like things are going to accelerate for you where you can actually make it a career and you're going to rise really, really quickly. And so what I feel coming through here is, you know, uh, as a water sign, as a water sign, okay? And this is also for Pisces, also for Scorpio. Overall, you are highly intuitive. And so when that, um, you know, when, when that inner voice creeps up, and it tells you something's wrong here. We need to take stock. We need to reassess. It's basically telling you that spiritually, you're not where you need to be. You're not where you're meant to be. And so I feel that, you know, you get these nudges because you're a water sign. And when you ignore these nudges, when you don't 
follow your intuition. A lot of the times, too, you might find yourself very, very stuck, okay? And you might find yourself stuck is um, an understatement. This is the Ten of Swords, and this is a sword about actions and consequences. This is a card about betrayal. This is a card about, I feel, honestly, in this spread, it represents, like, selling ourselves out, okay, selling our values out and not aligning strongly with um, the things that we believe in. So in a way, it can be a very karmic card that basically indicates choices and repercussions. And so I feel that some of you have important major decisions to make here. And I feel that you want to make the decision that really, you know, speaks to you on the emotional, spiritual basis. Because as a water sign, you really can't deny that part of yourself, okay? And um, the other thing I'm, I'm sensing here is this. So this is the card that represents you, okay? So I basically split all the cards into the, the uh, major, I selected the major arcana that represents each of the sign. So then I can shuffle it and figure out which sign I need to start these readings on so that it can provide you with guidance. And going back to the card that represents you, in life, overall, across the board, we're always going to be uh, caught in dilemmas, okay? Do we do this? Do we do that? Do we try to do the right thing? Or do we indulge a little bit? So there are always going to be these temptations. There are always going to be these dilemmas, right? But you want your heart and your mind to be in the same place. That's the only way you're going to be able to move forward, right? The chariot requires both of these animals to work in concerted effort, okay? So think of it as your heart and your mind. Think of it as, you know, the physical world and the spiritual world. You want both of these things to be aligned so that you can make the most progress forward. And so these things are not going to go away. Making this decision here doesn't mean that, you know, it's everything's going to be all fine and dandy. These dilemmas might come up again. These temptations will come up again as well. But we want to do the honorable thing. We want to be like a major player, like a major arcana, rather than dabbling in, you know, the, the minor arcana and thinking about short-term gains at the expense of long-term, you know, success, okay? So, Think long term for this month. I guess that's the overriding message, okay? I do wish you all the best, um, Cancers. And uh, I feel that it's going to be very a very dynamic month regardless, okay? Some difficult decisions, but it's a, going to be a very dynamic month for you. So take care of yourself, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.